Hello and welcome to the final showdown of the Napoleon Total War Winter Cup 2022-2023. Yeah, we that means Artus and me are facing finally Unity, Philip and Lancer in the final match and they picked as their first map uh this jungle <laughs> Uh, mess here, <laughs> a lot of fog at the moment. Um, so we are on sunken jungle here. The winning zones are uh, yeah here, this forest on position two, and this one on position one. And we have uh, we are facing as the attackers uh, a tough decision um, because either we play for position 2 or we play for position 1 because uh, it depends what they will do um, they can double team position 2 or double team position 1 one of th uh, one of those two things they will do and uh, so, uh, we kind of um, had a coin flip here and um, decided that they will play for position 2 since they did it against Philly, Bill and uh, Itchy as well previously. So, uh, yeah, we decided to um, yeah play for position two here, uh, Atos with Russia. Uh, we had a close look on the map and uh, saw that it uh, can only be one from the side. Uh, I mean, if they double team this forest, if both of us uh, go here, and if the position two player deploys his units up here in the upper part of the forest and not in the lower part, and I have to arrive to fight Philip's forces, which will uh, arrive here. But obviously, they surprised us, and um, yeah. They did not do what we expected them to do. They get, did go for a double team arming on position one. So Philip goes with his French build here on position one and Lance supports him by sending his army to the middle forest and um, slowly uh, sending units uh, to this forest later. So actually the game is already over. Uh, because uh, this forest um, is a very uh, good for a defender side there uh, even if the attacker side goes in directly because of this spot here um, as I showed in previous games uh, the defenders have an advantage on position one so it's a smart decision to um, actually play for this position but yeah um, it could also have worked if they um, double team position two here. Of course, with our deployment, we would have uh, probably dealt with this situation uh, better. Uh, but uh, like as it is now, it's very bad for us. Um, Atos has to um, yeah send his units up the hill first and. Uh, Till this point they will be um, very tired and can't do something very fast and Lancer will be able to deploy in this forest and set up defenses same uh, here on position one for Philip and we are kind of uh, yeah <laughs> in a very bad position now um, of course you can say we can double team this forest, but the problem is, um, as I said, Atos has to rest his troops first, and um, uh, in this time, Philip can also send his troops um, to back up uh, Lancer here in this forest again. And the main problem with this is that this forest is no winning zone this one is and um, yeah in the end they could just retreat to this 
uh, position and this is a very hard one to attack especially with less forces so the first engagement uh, happens here some Russian Jaegers approach but did not get a volley off on the on the mounted rifles so they stop now and we were thinking uh, and discussing about our options first we thought that uh, double teaming this forest might be an option but um, as you see Philip is already arriving and uh, the main problem with this uh, big forest in the middle is that if you want to attack this you have to be in control of uh, you need to attack this upper part of the forest and have to be in control if you want to win this whole uh, situation here only four casualties that's that's okay let's see if the Russian Jaegers here get a volley as well but doesn't look like it so um, this is why uh, this uh, attack would be problematic of course we can double team this uh, lower part of the forest but uh, uh, Philip could deploy here and uh, he has would have a very good position and shooting downhill in this uh, forest so yeah this is why we decided against this nice volley here against the Russian Jaegers but unfortunately the 17th Jaeger regiment is incoming and ready to shoot uh, our Russian Jaegers over here they did not get away in time and also lost the same amount of men almost yeah so that's the situation um, to be honest, uh, attacking this uh, position is also a very tough task here, um, especially when they can reinforce uh, the area as they want with this. They have a very good line of communication here in this area. So in the end our options were kind of limited we played kind of a poker game here and we lost you see Atas units are exhausted over here very tired and tired Philip uh, set up defenses uh, on position one and here in the middle with some stakes so this is the situation and um, after some discussion um, we decided to play for position one here instead of uh, attacking this uh, position because of the reasons I just told you I'm not sure what would have been better uh, but uh, yeah maybe uh, I should we should not have discussed that much and uh, just gone for it in the beginning uh, which we would have lost but um, well we met after the game uh, 
and they said that they uh, actually wanted to go for position 2 and change their plan in the last second to their better <laughs> so uh, yeah it was just bad luck I guess but of course I could also have gone for a position uh, one with all my units and uh, hope that Atas survives uh, in his position uh, getting double teamed on position two if they go for it as long as possible so I can arrive there as well and um, yeah attack uh, this forest and this forest again but doesn't matter they uh, went for position one and uh, here we are now I'm uh, setting up my uh, uh, troops f uh, here I'm deploying my troops for an attack the militia in the front I'm uh, not doing it very good uh, the, my problem is also that there are the line there's the line of stakes here the um, troops are all in position already there is a double line in the front of Swiss foot of Nenfisliers and Old Guard and Swiss foot uh, in the back uh, Votiges and 6th regiment here on the flank he target shoots um, I deploy my militia over here it's very important that you don't go too f uh, too close here because yeah, otherwise you will get completely destroyed within seconds uh, in this position so I send my um, uh, mounted rifles here around the stakes on the right uh, to make uh, bring chaos to their formation and um, yeah uh, let my army approach them I form up a double line of line infantry and uh, guard infantry here I want to get into the forest down here because uh, here the position is not that bad uh, because I n I don't get flank fire in uh, that heavily from those light infantry units. Unfortunately, I uh, kind of uh, broke my own rules and um, did deploy in this area. Actually, I my uh, counter tactic uh, for the light infantry there was to only deploy in this area where I have my double line. I don't know why I did this, but it wasn't that bad in this game because he was uh, quite defensive over here as well hasn't more uh, cavalry I have to sacrifice all my cavalry to actually get uh, into this uh, into this uh, position which is already um, yeah uh, uh, filled up with defenses as I said I have a back line of uh, infantry to shoot the cavalry which is dying very fast and uh, the rest of my army arrives here and I'm shooting at the double lines of uh, the old guard and Swiss foot here this uh, situation overall uh, of course favors me a little with Sweden against France because Sweden has a lot of infantry while France does not have that much infantry uh, but uh, the problem is the, uh, that I did not engage in the beginning otherwise I would have had uh, better chances when we arrived at the same time and um, my shooter curve is superior uh, if they arrive at the same time here in the beginning but as I said, it doesn't matter. We um, ended up in this scenario. We see that uh, Lancer sends forces already. He has some light dragoons, uh, sorry, <laughs> lifeguard of foot and musketeers and mounted rifles here. I'm, uh, I sacrificed another cavalry to make him square and um, he has to do the same, but not that. Uh, uh, huge masses of cavalry uh, because he is in the position already so more and more units come over from Lancer uh, while uh, yeah um, Atos can't really do much here in uh, his position he uh, can't attack this forest alone with Russia against Russia oh shit that was a very good volley from uh, from Lancer here
So, I'm uh, shooting down the French units, uh, but uh, Philip retreated them and um, gave some more space to me. My double line uh, is very powerful in, in the area at the moment. I lost only one line infantry so far, but a lot of cavalry. Um, but he brings his second old guard. I'm uh, shooting the, uh, down the next double line here. But he saves his smaller units, which is a nice uh, tactic instead of uh, just losing them. Now I uh, my my infantry in the middle broke, and uh, I continue to uh, to do my mistake and break my own rules, as I said, and uh, do. Actually, I should have deployed the militia in this area and only shot with uh, a guard double line here against the old guard double line. But, uh, yeah, I sent my next militia and line infantry double line in this bad spot and sacrificed my next cavalry to, uh, yeah, keep them busy. nothing happening over here at the moment they still have a lot of cavalry now I'm retreating a bit here This is a very nice spot for light infantry um, from defender side. We, you can make a lot of damage. You have a good spot uh, here uh, because of the terrain in the middle. There is a ridge where they can't be uh, hit that easily. And also uh, you have obviously a lot of forest uh, here. And Philip retreats more of his um, low number li uh, line infantry and replaces them with uh, his light infantry. I'm pushing, but some Russians arrived here. And Atos also sent uh, his first units. The Jaegers arrived. They are shooting the Russian Jaegers here, but uh, yeah, both of them are protected. These ones by the forest and those of others by the stakes here from Philip. But uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know if they hit anything here. So I'm sending units uh, further here. Philip uh, retreated even more. And you see that most of his units are shot down. Uh, but I am pretty much out of reserve uh, as well. I'm getting hit uh, on my light infantry line infantry sorry um, from the Russian Jaegers I thought he actually targets them but uh, he didn't obviously we are seeing the game from their perspective and more of Atos troops arrive the old guard comes back and double lines with the uh, medium size uh, Swiss foot here and the 6th regiment also has a very good position and of course is a very powerful unit so you see I managed to get into the forest uh, but yeah and I have uh, quite a 
a decent position, let's say it, in the forest. But uh, Philip managed to save more units than me in, uh, also, uh, although they are very low in numbers, but um, he has more units for situations like this to shoot at my cavalry, which once again brings chaos to their formation because all of them are uh, targeting. But I'm almost out of reserves. I'm uh, I come back with my last uh, troops here of line infantry, and I have one uh, cavalry hidden here or over there at the moment. But uh, Philip still has uh, the the Polish legion with seventy four and the eighteenth regiment with one hundred seven. And uh, Atos uh, repeats my mistake because he has no deployment zone here uh, and continues shooting the Russian Jaegers here. But you saw that the full volley did not kill anyone here. So this is a very bad spot for attack aside. And y you basically can only deploy down here and play defensive like uh, where the Semenovsky lifeguard is. Our problem is uh, also that um, we have to have units in the area here because uh, the position 2 is also the winning zone so um, even if we uh, commit all our forces like from Atos in, uh, in the area here uh, and Lanza doesn't, he can send one infantry over here and win the game uh, if the uh, time limit is over. So uh, this is uh, the main threat while uh, on this side, while uh, yeah, we are struggling on the other. Um, so yeah, Lance sent some mounted rifles down here to shoot at the lifeguard foot of Atos. I tried to get them with my line infantry but they, he escaped so I sent one mounted rifles to, uh, here in the forest and did hide them so the lifeguard took over in this area as I said and um, yeah fights the Russian Jaegers and the musketeers from Daniel here and overall you see the Lancer taking over in the forest. Our situation is uh, very bad. Um, they still have a lot of uh, cavalry, we don't have a backline uh, stationed here um, since they did not attack with cavalry for some time now. Uh, but yeah, uh, my cavalry was uh, only there to be sacrificed, as I uh, described, and Atta's cavalry basically is useless as well because, yeah, in this forest it's very hard to use um, cavalry uh, to make them pay off. Once again uh, Atos goes f to this bad spot. For some reason Lancer did not stay in the fight and runs away again. Um, but he wants to deploy his Russian Jaegers apparently there. And the musketeers get uh, get shot down, and the lifeguard from the Russian Jaegers. So 
Seminovsky lifeguard, another lifeguard, musketeers and Moscow musketeers are incoming, while musketeers from Atos and li another lifeguard coming over as well. It's quite boring uh, to uh, only have a fight in this area. Um, I'm uh, sorry for uh, such a... <laughs> uh, yeah, to show such a poor game uh, in terms of tactics uh, in the finals of this tournament. Um, but as I said, we miscalculated and um, yeah, this is what we got from it. We are getting uh, our, our outnumbered forces here are getting destroyed. And they have huge amounts of reserves here from Lancer. I tried to double line with uh, the Seminovsky lifeguard, which fights alone here in the forest. And I'm, I'm out of ammunition with my uh, smaller units, which I did hide in this area. So I have some more units, but um, yeah. Here we had a small micro mistake from Lancer, where he got shot by the lifeguard and Russian Jaegers. And we see there are still enough units with a lifeguard here um, to defend against Atos troops. He has only musketeers and the small uh, 17th Jäger regiment together with some uh, mounted rifles in the area. They could have even attacked this position, but of course there is no need to because they only need to survive in this zone till uh, the last 11 minutes are over. I just sent some mounted rifles here, but they ran away and target sh sh shot with all units, so they are out of the game as well. And here Lance's mount mounted rifles came again and this is what I waited for and tried to get a volley on them but they did not shoot they did redeploy and he got away into the forest my unit shot but on this distance they did, did, did not hit uh, something And I have my, now you can see my smaller units, which are all out of ammunition. And I desperately uh, decided for a charge here, I think. Oh, not yet, because the cavalry is still around. Now the lifeguard is in the spot. The, the Siminovsky lifeguard is apparently already shot down. 
and the next life guard of Atos uh, is in the, uh, in the in our position, uh, and I, as I said, charge all of my troops, which are out of ammunition, to um, gain some more space for Atos to deploy. And he follows this and send his second lifeguard in the area. So a big melee mess going on here. I try to uh, bring as much chaos to their uh, formation as possible to buy time for Atos. And I told him to send his cavalry here uh, through this passage uh, next to the stakes uh, to this spot because it's uh, the I found out <laughs> in this game that uh, with their deployment it's better the better side for cavalry attacks. So he did this. My troops are in their ranks. And some more cavalry comes here from Atos and uh, the musketeers and lifeguards. Could have gone a bit closer uh, since I uh, cleared the way for them, but shooting is also good. He followed uh, his cavalry attack with some musketeers here, but yeah, the spot is still very bad. And I sent my last cavalry in. Nice volley here from Atos against the 17th Jäger Regiment. He killed plenty of them, and his formation allows him to uh, also even fight both of them. But once again, Lancer retreats and doesn't want to, to fight uh, 2v1. But uh, Philip uh, sent his last cavalry here. Uh, nice move from uh, from Philip. Something Lancer could have done for a long time here uh, to attack this Russian Jäger unit which is unprotected apart from the mounted rifles but um, yeah now they did it the lifeguard of Daniel uh, so Lancer is coming in the middle as well there is no unit um, which is equal to uh, them instead so they will not be uh, stopped. Unfortunately, uh, Atos sent his uh, unit here through the stakes. Some of them survived and they sh charged here the old guard. And slowly but surely, he loses his, uh, his men against uh, the double lines here of Russia. Nice charge here from uh, Atos against the Russian Jaegers. That will break them uh, for sure very, very soon. But uh, there are two line infantry units. One of them is the lifeguard, which will not be, which the musketeers will not be able to break. And also there is still cavalry around. I still have my cavalry, I save them and sh uh, target shoot the mounted rifles of Lancer. Atos almost moved his general here through the stakes, that was very close. Um, but we are obviously completely outnumbered now. The Russian Jaegers uh, came back and I get target shot by the musketeers so I move my mounted rifles away because I also saw the 
Russian and French cavalry coming through the middle. But um, yeah, I was not able to uh, to shoot them before they can shoot me. game and I try to do a bit more damage with my mounted rifles and my general. And we are out of units here, only my general is, uh, is still alive. And this was the first game. So, uh, well done by them, uh, uh, GG, it um, yeah, was uh, very bad for us with our tactical decision, we, uh, yeah, miscalculated um, and went for the wrong position. Both of us did very bad, and uh, they did uh, much better, definitely. Um, Philip's uh, elite uh, light unit um, did a lot of a lot of kills. They had a great position. His old guard, uh, its old guards did not do much damage here. One hundred eleven kills. Is not very good for an old guard, and his cavalry did pretty bad as well. Um, but it was enough, and yeah, we, I will see you in the second game of the final, where we pick our our map. So thanks for watching, and see you.